what's going on everyone badger here I'm sure to like it's up and let's get into this uh well we brought you the tale of how dragon age the veil guard just wasn't the game that any dragon age fan really wanted didn't tell or wrap the story up the way we wanted it changed the combat significantly so it was a god of war 2018 clone and not really a good version of it either uh and that has been reflected in the player counts which never hit above a hundred thousand uh you can see here i just updated that thirty thousand people playing on a, a tuesday so that's all right but even in the peak 47 percent in the past 24 hours which was noted was a big drop off and this is in, in addition to multiple sources now from endymion who we're going to talk about a second he's the source of this one because he actually played this damn game to platinum um but uh through his sources and through smash jt's that yeah the game has not even sold half a million and it's had a significant amount of refunds there's first thought in the thirty thousand, but thinking probably even higher than that and that brings us to today of dragon age the veil guard accused of hating white people openly uh and this really all comes from endymion who actually played it like i said all the way through to the platinum trophy um and so he here's his thoughts someone speaking from experience and obviously he's very well aware of what's going on behind the scenes with that uh corinne bush the trans game director and of course all the other corrupted people that work there um so everything in veil guard this is endymion of course talking everything in veil guard is gay trans and hates white men exclusively i've said this before but it's unfortunately true yeah for a moment you might think this is rk outpost but he only complained about that in the batman uh yeah. he uh every single villain in this game is either a white man or woman they also make every faction be led by either a woman like in this case of the gray wardens or the antivan crows which are led by a black elf woman and some other guy yeah probably not zevran uh by the way no single faction in this game is run by a single man especially not a single white man either the shadow dragons are led by a man and a trans man the veil jumpers are led by an asian and black elf by the way the asian elf who leads the veil jumpers was previously in a relationship with uh balara your companion and the black elf whose name is strife app name if you don't romance imric the no the necromancer strife and imric end up being in a relationship as well yeah so we heard that they made their uh what we used to be called player sexual now i think they just straight up made the characters pansexual and so basically whoever you don't end in a relationship with they'll start pairing off uh together so the veil jumpers leaders are not only very diverse but they're both gay as well the Mourn Watch is led by a brown woman and a shadow ghost apparition thing. I, this, By the way, this is very similar to Concord, where a straight white man and woman you could barely find. Um, certainly not for the man. Uh, he then reiterated, okay, this is him reiterating. Like I said, some of the factions are led by none of the factions are led by white men at all everything is either gay coded or female led the gray wardens are led by a heterosexual couple but when you look at them come on it's ridiculous a dwarf woman and a french accent elf guy who looks like he came out of the movie ratatouille these two do not scream gray wardens they look like children like i said the entire game is like this yeah and that's what we're finding from people that's why you're seeing such a low player count the people refunding the game because even if you ignored all of this if you didn't have any problem with there being no white males or women in, in places of leadership straight white males or women in places of leadership or in uh with any agency or whatever like that it's just it's bad gameplay it's bad trite dialogue we saw uh thomas Mahler from moon studios go over this and say it's infantile this is this is something kids would write um this is back to Endymion saying, white men are always the bad guy, like in uh, Travisu, where the Antivan crows reside. There's a traitor that is kind of hinted at early on in the story that is working with uh, the Antam Canari to, you know, place the power of the Canari over the city. And it's so obvious it's the governor. And surprise, it is exactly. And of course, when you look at him, what is he? Of course, he's a white man. And of course, you kill him in combat. Yeah. So, of course and then uh, he's everyone says oh that guy sucks we're glad he's dead this entire game i kid you not hates white people only it's disgusting it's so obviously done on purpose and these are of course made by people that you know you would see from a libs of TikTok video that would be white and talking about how dangerous white people are and how they hate their whiteness blah 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 um and then again just hammering it home that every faction is led by a trans or gay person every bad guy is a white man or woman even nev gales 
uh, she fights a woman named Elio G. I wonder what she is. Oh, that's right. She's also a white woman because, of course, she is. The problem is that they go out of their way to ensure that everything is diverse as possible while ensuring that the villainous traits are only coded single-handedly into white men and white women exclusively. It is very evident that the game here has an agenda. And what's the likelihood that every single person in power who's a good guy in this game is either gay trans or non-binary for the most part and yet none of the villains that you face are trans gay or non-binary they're all straight and very clearly white yeah you get the idea and then he goes on to talk about uh just why they do this but we know why they do this and if this was the reverse obviously if every single villain in the game was a black man or a black woman would it not be curious i don't know i think it would be either way you know me you let me know if you think this is curious Would you like share and sub if you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, bye. <laughs>